Welcome to Make a Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today let's talk about the new teaser focusing heavily on the kingdom and Ezekiel. Focused a little bit on Morgan, too, and it kind of cleared up what's going on with Morgan's story. I feel pretty confident we can predict exactly what's going to happen with Morgan's story getting to the kingdom. Now, it's not all that complex, so it's not a huge deal, but just looking at this teaser alone and knowing what we know so far, uh, I'm guessing that when he stops at this uh, mailbox, He's actually making a little notch here to find his way home, like leaving breadcrumbs. Now, this could be something different. They could find something that is valuable in here, maybe supplies. I mean, it doesn't look like it. I'm just giving other options. I like uh, giving a couple different options, you know, leaving it open for your mind to think of different things. But I think he's just leaving a mark. And we did see that in a different promo image where someone left a mark on the tree. I think that would be very interesting if Morgan's the one because after all, he's the one who accidentally followed the marks left by the hunters, which led him essentially to the church to find the, the map that Abraham made for Rick Grimes. You know what I mean? See how that works out? So I think it would be awesome if uh, Morgan was the one leaving the marks and he left a mark on this uh, mailbox and also on the tree. Now, keep in mind, even though the kingdom people are helping Morgan, Morgan isn't just going to blindly believe them or assume everything's going to be okay. So obviously he might mark his path in case they want to leave and go home. Now, in a different promo, we did, we did see Carol waking up which at first I thought it was kind of odd. Why is she waking up outside if they're taking her to the kingdom? Now I'm starting to think that actually it's going to take them two days to get to the kingdom, not two full days, but the one day where they meet the guys in armor, the men in armor, and they start heading towards the kingdom and they have to bed down for the night and sleep it off and uh, they patch up you know, they patch up Carol's wounds, and which I'm disappointed they look like flesh wounds. But anyway, whatever. <laughs> they patch up her wounds, and then they move again to keep heading towards the kingdom. And this teaser actually adds to that theory because this other group of kingdom riders on the uh, horseback come up to them and they said, hey, we've been looking for you guys. So what I'm thinking is the man from the kingdom that met up with Morgan was kind of out there for a few days, lost his horse, and this other group of uh, men from the kingdom, men and women, well, I'm just going to call them men to keep it easy, but yeah, women are there. <laughs> this other group from the kingdom, they come up to them, they find them in the road, coming back to the kingdom, and they say, hey, we've been looking for you guys. And funny though, this guy looks like the governor. <laughs> he, this guy reminds me of the governor, the one uh, guy, the one guy from the kingdom. Anyway, so yeah, picture this. Morgan and the men from the kingdom are heading towards the kingdom. Obviously, they sleep over at night because it's getting too dark to travel. Morgan's marking his way on trees and mailbox posts so that way he can find his way back when he needs to to go back and talk to Rick Grimes and go back and check in on Alexandria. More people from the kingdom come and they find Morgan and the other kingdom men and then they escort them back to the the kingdom, you know, and I think that's how it's going to play out. But we do see images here of the kingdom where a truck is entering. Now, in the old trailer, we saw a truck leaving, and I think this is interesting what they did with the wall here because it looks like the wall is made for them to be able to take this down rather quickly. It actually looks like bundles of recyclables just first glance you ever work in a factory where they take all the cardboard uh, shit like that and it compacts it into one bundle like a bundle of hay but instead you have junk <laughs> that's what the wall looks like it looks like just solid cardboard which might be silly at first but if it's only to keep the dead out essentially uh, yeah I can see people doing that in a hurry to build a community or at least a wall around the community but I do believe this truck coming back is actually Morgan, Ezekiel, Ezekiel's right-hand man, maybe a few others. They might, they might take one or two trucks to go run on some kind of run. Now, I do believe there's beef going on between Ezekiel and Negan, and I think that's essential to the story because if everything is fine and then Rick's the one to pop off and be like, okay, I'm not de de dealing with this shit. We need to come together and take Negan out. That doesn't make it seem like this world is, you know, alive already. But if we have the hilltop, which was a community, you know, happy with the way things are going because there's no alternatives and they're just basically doing what Negan says 
hanging on by a thread, keep in mind. And then you have the kingdom, which is another community. They're doing what King, what Negan says, but there's conflict there. They are uh, maybe fighting back. They got spies. Maybe they're trying to store supplies somewhere else. Maybe they're trying to learn more about the Savior so they can get out from underneath Negan's rule. I think that sets up a world in The Walking Dead that's more alive than just having the hilltop and the kingdom, two communities that are basically doing just what Negan wants them to do, and that's it. I think it just fleshes the story out more. Take a look at this image, though. This girl is either holding a blue staff, and she's got these really bright green tips on her arrows. Now, that's either because they didn't do the CGI, <laughs> or she's actually holding some kind of blue, you know, really blue broom. I don't know. It just it fits. It's out of place, because <laughs> that's blue as shit. It looks like something that they would later go in and add some kind of CGI to. Uh, so I think I'm going to keep an eye out for that because they've done that and trailed us before, not with just The Walking Dead, but but with other stuff where they added some CGI later. Just nothing this, you know, noticeable, <laughs> at least not that I remember off the top of my head. Now, it does look like they run into problems. I just want to point this one thing out. This chick here has an arrow. No, this looks really cool, and I like this, and I can't wait to see this chick uh, bucking with that arrow. Now, it looks like she's holding a gun, so maybe she only uses the arrow once in a while for uh, walkers, but it would be cool to see her build a relationship with Daryl because of just the arrows. <laughs> yes, I'm going to be that superficial. Anyway, we get a couple other cool images here. I want to point out that Ezekiel goes on the run with Morgan. I showed this image off uh, a little while ago, but this is Ezekiel carrying a ladder. It's a, a guy in the kingdom who's trapped in a car. Walker is leaning uh, his face towards the windshield, and Morgan's in the background there clearing out the way. So they're doing something, and I don't know if they're saving the guy from the car or or they're actually doing something a little bigger, you know? Uh, I don't know yet. I don't know. Maybe someone else is in trouble. Maybe there's more people in trouble. People might die on this run because it looks like shit goes bad. You see Ezekiel st st uh, stomping his sword cane down, killing something. Uh, maybe one of his own people died. But it does look like they're not just going on a normal supply run. I mean, you have King Ezekiel. He wouldn't just go on a normal supply run, would he? I mean, really, would he? So I'm thinking they have some kind of base set up. And I'm really hoping that this actually connects to the dead bodies that Rick and Morgan found because think about how interesting that is for the story and Morgan actually plays a, a role in this. Morgan came across one of the people from the kingdom and it, he essentially saved his life because Rick Grimes was going to shoot him, right? Now they find bodies with their throats slit and obviously there was some kind of conflict with these people and somebody else, the people that killed them. So if Ezekiel is a little bit unsure about Morgan and wants to know what he knows, he brings Morgan out with him. They go to this place where they have had people before. Maybe this was one of the kingdom's little outposts or maybe a storage area where they had more supplies and they actually find some of their people murdered so they can link that together with the people murdered that Rick Grimes and Morgan found with their throats slit and they know that this is the saviors fighting back now I don't know how exactly this is going to play out because if the saviors knew 100% that King Ezekiel was fighting back why wouldn't they just run through the kingdom and kill them all unless they don't think that is the way to go. Maybe they think they should spank them a little bit more and then King Ezekiel will fall in line. But I'm thinking that this is some shit going down and maybe the saviors don't know exactly yet this is King Ezekiel or a different community, a new community. Keep in mind, they just ran into Rick Grimes and them, so there's other people out there. But what if just what if that one image of the saviors uh, led by Stephen Ogg's character looking real badass where we thought was the hilltop what if that's a different area and there's actually like a little mini battle happening before Rick Grimes even you know comes into the fold with King Ezekiel and they all start to unite to fight back against Negan I don't know I just think that's uh, really interesting and I want to see a world that's already alive I'm so sick of Hollywood writing stories and I'm not saying The Walking Dead does this and I'm not saying anyone else does this but I'm saying this is common where and it's a common flaw when when a writer creates a world that only exists or only feels like it's existing or reacting 
acting because the lead character is there. Like, we're following Rick Grimes right now. This would be a shitty, poorly written world if it only started acting to Negan's rule. You know, acting to the problems, acting to the conflict. If it was only now reacting to all that because Rick Grimes is on the scene, because he's the lead character. So I want a world that's alive. I want the kingdom to already have problems and a lot more problems than the hilltop did. Those are just my ideas, but I'm dying to know what you guys think. So please let me know down in that comment box. I'm done talking. It's your turn. Subscribe now. <laughs>